Well, welcome back to Channel 1. Today I'm going to be working on my Ford F-250. I uh, got a little problem with getting the spare tire down. I was supposed to leave this morning to go up north and do some fishing. Uh, I just want to make sure that I could get my spare tire out. Well, when I took the tool out to go and to lower the spare tire, uh, I couldn't get a hold of anything. So I said, what the heck is in there blocking it? So I took my snake camera, uh, that's very useful, and I slid it down inside the hole and quickly realized that there is like a key like you use to um, lock the lug nuts on your cars. I've never seen anything like that. So I got a little frustrated and so I called up the uh, Ford dealer and asked them if they might have had a key or an extra key or something. They said they have like 16 different keys, but if I made an appointment, I could come up and uh, have them remove it. Well, I didn't really want to do that. Well, before I got off the phone, the gentleman told me if you just took a 14 millimeter socket on the end of an extension and beat that on there, it should bring it right down. I said, well, I'm not really sure if I want to try that because then if I end up destroying it, then I'm not going to have any way to get the spare tire down. But I'm going to go ahead and try it for the first time. So this is going to be the first take. <laughs> and if it works, then I'm going to use it. If not, then I'm going to come back to it. So I've got a 14 millimeter socket. He said, make sure that you use a, a cheap uh, 14 millimeter socket because you want to be able to bend this over that locking device. And you're going to want to slide that in there. And he says you want to tunk on that three or four times and then the tire will come right back. So here we go. First time ever. Let's see if it works. Now I did feel it like it slid over a little bit. I'm going to a couple more. And here we go. Not exactly sure what to expect here. Holy cow, it's working, <laughs> here we go, it's coming right down, probably another extension would have helped a little bit too, but there it is, the tire is down, now he had mentioned when I go to pull that out, I'm going to leave, the socket will be on there, and he's right, it is on there. So again, what he's telling me to do is there's a plastic uh, pipe that's uh, kind of protecting that. He says to pull that off, take a screwdriver, and pop that right out. I'm going to check that first before I film it. <laughs> so, okay, I'll be right back. All right, I want to apologize for the jitteriness here because uh, I have no way of setting the tripod up underneath here. So. This is the plastic pipe, and I've already taken it off. I already tried it once, and just gonna kind of grab it and, and kind of pull it out of there. Let's see if I can do this. Just kind of pull that, twist it side to side, and come right out of there, and then get that out of the way. And there's my socket. All right, and then I did I did try this already, and it came right out. I just want to show it to you again. So I want to make sure I could do it. And kind of pop right out of there like that. And there it is, my socket is on there. So let's take it out so we can get a closer look at it. I didn't take it off the socket. I wanted to kind of do that uh, live with you guys. Well, there it is. Uh, I couldn't uh, pound this out with a screwdriver just holding it. I actually had to put it in a vise. But uh, here's the key, the anti-lock device that we have here. And then I just had the 14 millimeter socket. It did change the characteristics of the 14 millimeter socket a little bit, but I really don't care. I was able to get it down. So I was able to pull that uh, anti-theft device out of there. And now I can just use the regular crank that comes with the vehicle. Now I was told that the key should have been in the glove compartment, but it was not. So look at that. Now I can go ahead and just bring my tire right back up. Nice. If someone wants to steal it, well, take it. <laughs> well, there we go. Thanks an awful lot for watching. I want to thank the uh, individual that helped me with this on the phone. I have no idea who you are, uh, but uh, thanks an awful lot, um, and uh, stay tuned for the next one.